Hi, my name is Carrie, and I am here to talk about morning thoughts and dream journaling and decoding with you. Um, I'll go over what I do for my dream journaling um, and how I decode it in this video. So, uh, a couple of things that you want to have have a pen, light pen, to write with, nothing too heavy, and then have a journal. This one's the Magic Buy journal that I really like. You can get lined or unlined. Uh, or you can just get from the regular store. Okay. Get something fun though. Get something that you like to write with. Uh, go to the art supply store. Get something, you know, that's fun and colorful. Um, and when you're setting yourself up, if you've never done dream journaling before, uh, when you're setting yourself up, you just want to make sure that you're spending enough time easing into sleep as you are easing out of sleep, right? So make sure that you are matching those. If someone starts to talk to you like right away when you're trying to wake up, you're not going to retain what the dream was. So just, if you can, when you're starting to wake out of your sleep cycle, and you're starting to remember what the dream was, don't talk to anyone right away. And if if you have a busy household, it's okay to like take your journal into the bathroom. <laughs> Just, you know, bathroom's a good place to have a break sometimes. Um, and, uh, but if you, if you have a household where like you have more flexibility, then just, you know, you can always tell the person that lives in your house with you, uh, whoever they are, how many there are, that you just need a little time to ease out of sleep. Um, so we're going to talk about my dream just as an example and just some thoughts that I had. Uh, I'm in California and it's January 5th of 2023 today and we had a bomb cyclone come through and the energy in the air was as such to where there's a lot of electricity in the air and a lot of rain and wind and thunder and flooding and there's down trees and um, I find that when the environment is whirled up like that, that things can, energies can just be high, right? It stresses people out because we're human beings. So even if you don't feel it right away, like you'll feel it a little bit later and it's just, you know, it's kind of a little bit of a stressful feeling, but it's also a lot of excitement, right? So sometimes that energy can kind of enter into your dreams. Um, the other thing that I look at when I'm dreaming is uh, if there's any animals there and what elements were there. So uh, looking at earth, um, water, fire, air, right? All these things have different meanings. Different animals have different meanings in different cultures. Um, and, you know, I encourage you to look at go online and research and you might find that there's a culture and a message of that animal that is maybe outside of your culture but the message matches what was in your dream right and if that makes sense then use it right this is all up to your own interpretation so Let's talk about the dream that I had last night. And the dream that I had was that there is this girl and she was in a market and she was getting ingredients for macaron filling. And she wanted to do key lime and she wanted to do white chocolate and she was like really excited about all these opportunities and then she thought, well, I want to go somewhere else and I want to do this and that. And she started to look at other opportunities and it was bright and sunny and there was excitement and joy, right? And then I see this other old neighbor of mine, and he is a guy who lives in the neighborhood who has um, a developmental delay, and he is looking at the earth, and he's looking at different ways that he can create something too, right? He's excited, and he also wants to create something, and there's these men, like bullies, and they come, and they just take him down, and they're like, 
beating him and and I'm screaming and I'm really upset and sad and angry and scared and I'm like trying to pull them off of him and um and the more that I fed negative energy the more men were taking him down and then I stepped back and was just completely overwhelmed and then they all just went away and the guy went on and he was back to creating with the earth now in decoding this dream um, I found that the day before I was talking about a lot about like my creative process. Um, I was talking about a lot of my creative process and, and about, uh, the book that I'm writing and, you know, how I'm halfway done with edits and, um, and just content creation. And then I started to see that there is opportunity, right? There's all these sunny, bright opportunities present in the first part of the dream, right? Where the girl is shopping for macaron ingredients, cookies, right? And there's all these different ways that she can make them. And then the other part of the dream is this guy who might have a challenge present, but he also wants to create, and he's seeing a way of creating with the earth. And the earth typically re represents stability, right? Grounding. And then there's this negative energy that comes in and takes him down. And as I fight this negative energy and feed into it and try to rip it away, it builds and builds and builds. So looking at this, I start to think about how like attracts like. Positivity attracts negativity. Or I mean, sorry, positivity attracts positivity. Negativity creates negativity, right? So, in thinking about how like attracts like, there's always going to be naysayers, and there's always going to be fear, right? So if you let fear take over, what you want to do, you're not going to do it, right? It's This is the whole, you know, picture of the frogs in biology class with the cotton, like some of them are trying to jump out and the other ones are trying to pull them back in, right? Fear can keep you safe, but it can also harm you in a lot of ways, and it can kill you, right? So... The message that I got from this dream is that there's opportunities there and humans are meant to create and we're meant to be happy, right? It is our innate right to be happy. Um, we are born to create and it's so weird because in school, as children, we're told, oh, well, that's a nice poem, but uh, don't, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, well, that's a nice piece of art, but what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, that's a really nice song that you wrote, but what do you want to be when you grow up? And we're expected to toss out anything creative that we want to do within the arts of painting, of writing music, writing stories, right? So I think that, you know, for me, it's important. Be like my artistic abilities are important to me. And it might not it might not necessarily go along with what 
general population feels is acceptable, <laughs> right? Um, but it's about keeping a positive mindset. So if you are saying, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm too scared, I'm too scared, I'm too scared, I'm too scared, guess what? You can't and you're too scared. And if you say, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, then guess what? You're excited and you're gonna do it. So the message of this dream is that um, you know, stay positive and create what it is that you want to create because you know what? It's up to us to create our own paths and our own destinies. And if we don't like the narrative that our life is going in, then we have the power to change it. Now, some might say that, oh no, like how would this person like you know, who's sitting in jail, for instance, how would they change their narrative if they're stuck in jail? Well, they can do meditation, right? Um, they can do writing, they can do art, right? So there's, what I'm trying to say is that there's always a way. There's always a way to bring positivity in your life, given the circumstances. And that negative cycles are going to come through and positive cycles are going to come through and it's up to you to create how you want to manage these things that come up. Um, so that's, that's the message that I got for today for January 5th is that we are creators and we were born to create and it is our right to be happy and, um, Go for your dreams, go for your goals, and um, don't let fear hold you back. And don't let someone else's negativity hold you back, right? Because that might be them projecting their own fear on you, and um, you can't control someone else's emotions. It's like, that's just impossible. So just do what you want to do, and... Um, yeah, it's your life. So have fun with it. And as Terry Hall would say, enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. So with that, take care. And I will see you guys all another time for morning thoughts and dream decoding. All right.